Generally, cat pregnancy lasts for around two months, from 63 to 67 days. However, for some cats, gestation period may extend up to 72 days. During the pregnancy period, pregnant queens go through overwhelming developmental, hormonal, and behavioral changes. Welcome to Keeping Pet YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about cat pregnancy stages from mating and fertilization to labor and birth of kids. Cats are seasonally polyesterous for indoor cats and cats living in more tropical regions closer to the equator, where they have longer daylight hours. The breeding season goes all year round. On the other hand, for cats living in the Northern Hemisphere, the breeding season is from late January or early February to the late fall. To better understand what is happening at each cat pregnancy stage and how can you provide the best possible care to your pregnant cat, let us break down cat pregnancy week by week. Fertilization. To get pregnant, a cat has to be fertile. She must be on heat. Unspayed female cats go into heat every two to three weeks for around six days on average during the cat heat cycle. Also known as the estrus cycle, your queen is ready to mate, and if kept indoors, she may try to escape in search of a tom. And if are not planning to breed your cat, you should get her spayed before she reaches sexual maturity and becomes able to get pregnant. Usually, kids are able to get pregnant at four months of age. First week of cat pregnancy. The first week in cat gestation is of conception. Cats only release eggs for fertilization when their ovaries are stimulated during mating. Usually, a queen needs to mate around three to four times within 24 hours to ovulate. So, a cat may end up having coitus with more than one tons. After mating, the sperm may take around 10 days to fertilize the egg. After fertilization, eggs are moved to the uterus through the fallopian tube, which may take from 12 to 14 days. The second week of pregnancy. During the second week after the implantation of fertilized eggs in the uterus, the placenta starts to form. During this period, embryo development is also initiated. The placenta is also formed during the second week of pregnancy. This placenta acts as a connection between the mother and kid. It contributes to the exchange of waste and nutrients between the embryo and the mother. During this stage, the pregnant queen also experiences some hormonal changes. However, there are no behavioral changes in your feline friend at this stage. Third week of pregnancy. During the third week of the cat gestation period, the embryo development continues and internal organs also start to develop. During this week, hormonal levels rise and cat nipples start to enlarge and darken. This is the first visual sign that your cat is expecting. Fourth week of pregnancy. During the fourth week of cat pregnancy, hormones are soaring to an all-time high and your cat starts to experience morning sickness. Four weeks into pregnancy, your cat may also experience vomiting. During this period, the pregnant cat's weight continues to increase. If your cat's weight is decreasing or the vomiting is frequent and seems uncontrollable, you should contact your vet. You should also stop picking up your cat as this can hurt the soon-to-be kittens developing inside your cat's belly and may lead to miscarriage. By the end of the fourth week, the embryos have developed into fetuses. As fetuses are growing into kittens, your cat's appetite will be increasing. She might be eating around 1.5 to 2 times her normal caloric intake. The fifth week of pregnancy. During this week, fetuses are growing rapidly into kittens. Their organ development is near completion, hormonal glands become functional, and nerves are developed. Your cat's caloric intake would increase rapidly, as it has to provide nutrition to the growing fetuses. Moving into the sixth week of pregnancy, as kids are growing big in size, requiring more nutrition, your queen's appetite will be exploding. You must switch to quality kid food, which will meet the nutritional requirements of both the kids inside and the mother cat as well. It is best that you switch to kitten food as soon as cat pregnancy is diagnosed. A vet can do an x-ray of your cat by the 42nd day into pregnancy to confirm it and tell the number of kittens you should be expecting. It is strongly advised that no x-ray is done before 55th day of the gestation period. Seventh week of pregnancy. By the seventh week, your cat will have a bulging, round belly. As kittens have grown, they are now pressing against cat's internal organs, including the stomach, so there is little room for food in your cat's stomach. This leads to an apparent decrease in her appetite. Keep in mind that the mother cat still has to provide for the kittens growing inside of her, and thus still needs more nutritional intake. However, due to decreasing capacity of her stomach, she is eating less. In this situation, you should provide smaller but more frequent meals to your cat. The eighth week of pregnancy. At this stage, kittens are fully developed, 
you will be able to notice their movement in your cat's belly. At this stage of the gestation period, her belly will further fall out. This is to make nursing kittens easier after birth. Due to the hormonal changes, your cat will be grooming extensively and will also start losing hair around the nipples. If your cat has had a litter previously, she will start producing milk during week 8 of pregnancy. Otherwise, you will see milk dripping from her nipples in the ninth week. Ninth week of pregnancy. As the average cat gestation period is about 63 to 67 days, your cat may deliver during this week, especially if she has been nesting in the past week. As labor is close, your cat will be anxious and jumpy. She will have little to no appetite as kittens have greatly reduced the stomach room and as kittens are on their way. During this stage, your cat will start producing milk. And if she has had a litter before, she may even drip a few drops. Week 10 of cat pregnancy. While most pregnant cats will have given birth by week nine of pregnancy, it is totally fine for cats to carry the litter into the 10th week. This may either be related to the number of kittens in the litter or perhaps to the cat breed. However, if by the end of week 10, your cat has not gone into labor, you must contact your vet. Though so chances are you might have miscalculated the dates, still you should ask your vet if something is wrong. If your queen is nearing the end of her gestation period, you should make sure that you are prepared for the big day. And as your cat enters week 9 of pregnancy, you should start looking for signs of labor in cats. You should also know that the journey does not end as the kins have come into this world. But that is when things get crazy. The roller coaster ride begins. Providing care for a mother cat and newborn kitten can be an overwhelming task. However, if you know what you are doing, it could be a fun and streamlined journey. That was all about cat pregnancy stages. How far along is your cat pregnant? Let us know in the comment section. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. This video was brought to you by KeepingPet.com, a web platform dedicated to providing the best pet care tips to pet owners. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for similar informational videos about pet health and care tips.